from Nickton Gaming and I'm going to talk about how to make the perfect 2D UI scaler for Unity that will stay pixel perfect based on your or say uh, pixel per inch is perfect dip, uh, and not change depending on your uh, camera or screen aspect ratio. Now, this is a big issue. I have been fighting with this many times. That's why I've to date put everything into a canvas where you have full control over it instead of using a 2D with a camera, which I would like to do. I would like to be able to use a 2D uh, sprite renderer objects with a camera but as many people know when you have different aspect ratios like free aspect my camera now gets cut out so I have my you know in a normal 16 by 9 Google layout you can see my character and you can see my cats and it's fine resizing but in a free aspect you know say there's a Android device with a more square screen that would get cut out and the only solution that I would know of is to just increase the size of the camera on game start and that's a very ugly solution that I really don't like and it would be nice if this would be controlled automatically now, as I was going through this problem trying to find a solution to it, I did come across this uh, Unity forum post where this uh, Mars Caleb guy had the same exact issue. He wanted to uh, have his build restrict the aspect ratio, so even when he has the 16 by 9 selected and plays on a 32 by 9 monitor. It would still have the game fill the whole screen. It would have his camera fit everything and everything would work. Even this Carco fan guy had the same question. And it was very disappointing because this uh, Unity Technologies employee just swatted their question down saying, you know, they had no right to ask it. Now, I've had to deal with forum bullies like that before, uh, dealing with uh, Firebase technology. So anytime I see something like that, it just encourages me to find a solution myself. Now, I came up with an idea. The Unity Learn website has this creating a mini-map system where they connect a camera to a texture pretty much and they can control what you see on that um, camera very easily and I decided to take that idea of a mini map and see if I can assign it to my game because I don't like the cutting off so if I play my game, if I have it, you know, at a aspect ratio, then, you know, it runs just fine. But once you uh, change it to a different aspect ratio, uh, maybe, you know, the different landscapes, you can kind of mess up with what you're seeing. I believe there should be, should even be some of the default unities that create clipping with this. But if we can't get clipping with the landscape aspects, we can at least get it with the uh, free aspect, which is a very possible thing because the uh, default 800 by 400 to 18 by 9 are not the only landscapes available to Android devices, unfortunately. 
especially if you go into things like tablets. So I will keep it in free aspect and I will give you a walkthrough of how exactly we are going to go about getting this done. Now if we look at my other project where I have finished this, we can see it in action where you can see that there is absolutely no clipping. We do have, you know, the sprites shrinking in size, but that's as you deal with normal uh, canvases. So that's kind of one thing. So let's uh, just get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to, here, let me set it to the aspect ratio that I want. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my players that I want to show on my camera and I'm going to make sure that they are not shown on my main camera because I don't want my main camera to show them. So the first thing I will do is I will turn off the transparent FX on my main camera. Um, it does not matter which calling mask you take off. You can even add more. In fact, yeah, there we go. Then I will select my objects that I want to be special and I'm going to set them to the transparent effects layer that I just removed. You can of course add another layer and this would work with any layer that you do. As long as that layer is not in the culling mask of the main camera. So as you see here, now we can't see them. If I switch back to one of the cold uh, layers, then it does show up. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to add another camera to the screen. And I do need to delete the audio listener because we can't have multiple audio listeners in the screen. And we see that it's perspective, but I like orthographics. For my purposes, I'm going to use a size of 10. I'll put a near plane of 0.1, a far plane of 0.2. I'm going to put this at 0, 0, and let's do zero. So let's do one and one, 1.1. You can, of course, have the far plane as far as you want, um, but I'm going to have mine only grabbing the 2D assets that I have, just so it renders as little as possible. I'll set the target display to display 2. I need to set the calling mask to just the transparent FX. I want to change the color of my skybox. I'm going to zoom in to my camera to make sure that I am grabbing the things that I want to grab. I'm going to also change their sorting. No, I'm not going to change the sorting way. Okay. I will change the name of my camera to Game Camera. We can even set it to a different layer, but that doesn't matter too much. I'll have it solid color, orthographic. Ah, uh, there we go. So negative one. Now we can see it. I needed to change the Z position of my camera to negative one so it is able to show them. Okay, let's go back to the 2D view. And we can see the characters in the camera, but we don't see them on screen yet, and that's what we want. So in my assets folder, I have a texture. So let me just delete this so we can recreate it together. So I will write so I've created a texture folder. And you don't need it, you can make it outside of it, but I like to have everything separated into folders. So I will right click, go to create, and I will go down to render texture, yes. So kind of in the middle of the area, we see render texture. 
and I will call this um, game camera render extra. There are a few settings that we want to have here. So Google uses a 16 by 9 ratio for the games on the Google Play Store. So I will use a 16 by 9 ratio, but I like to have a little bit more uh, depth than just 16 and 9 or 1600 and 900. So I will be using 3200 and 1800, which is just about double a 1600 by 900 ratio. Um, then I want to keep the defaults here. Yes, I will keep it there. Anti aliasing is fine. I do like to have a uh, point filter uh, just because I'm I enjoy it. Uh, let's see. And I also do not see a difference between the different filters, so it shouldn't really matter which filter you have. But now we have our game camera render texture, so I'm going to click on my game camera, and at the bottom area we do see where it says target texture under rendering path, so I'm just going to drag and drop my texture to the camera. Now we need to go to our canvas, let me press F to zoom in on the canvas, and I've just got a few basic buttons. My canvas size is scaling with screen size, so it's at a 3200 by 1800 reference resolution. And I'm going to right click and I want to import, or I want to create a I need an image, but I need a special image. Let's see, what exactly do I want? I need a raw image. Oh, but first let's actually create another empty, and this will be my game view. This is going to help me set the size of my raw image. And then I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of my buttons and the top of my bottom button. I will right click on the game view. And now I want the raw image. There we go. So UI and then raw image right above panel and under image and text, text mesh pro. And I am not going to even bother giving that a name, but I will give it a constant pixel size of 3200 by 1800 I think. Yes, that should be fine. Um, and you can play around with it too. Now in raw image where it says texture, we are going to drag our texture. Yes. So we want to put our game camera render texture on both our raw image and our game camera. So target texture here and then texture here. And now you see it's actually showing up. And before, when we saw the image getting cut off as the aspect ratio changes, we now see that there is no longer any cutting off of the image, which is wonderful. And because I have my canvas set to expand, when I shrink it, it stays, and when I expand it, it will, well, expand. And we never have to worry about the camera cutting off like we saw before. So uh, let's test it and see it in action with my uh, pieces moving around. Uh, of course, 
so I don't have that connected. I haven't assigned the start button. Oh, I have assigned the start button. Perhaps I need to move that up. There we go. So you do need to be careful because this is grabbing uh, clicks. But I believe that we can set it to where it doesn't take ray casts. Would that be it? I don't want it to slide. Drag this out and there we go. So you just need to go to the raw image and turn off Raycast target if you don't want anything clickable on your raw image. Um, and now we can resize it and see that everything sizes perfectly. I can move my objects around in world space, as you can see in my screen over here. If I move my cat around, he can go all the way to the edge of the camera and just slide right off, and you can go all the way over the other edge and slide right off. And that's all you need to make a, a perfect aspect ratio for the 2D games in Unity. So I hope that this tutorial has helped you. If it has, uh, let me know and maybe even subscribe.